Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Ojer. I am an emergency physician, and in this patient education video, we are going to talk about plantar fasciitis. So what causes heel pain? Well, one of the most common causes of heel pain is a problem called plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is the term doctors use when a part of the foot called the fascia, the plantar fascia, gets irritated or swollen. The plantar fascia is a tall band of tissue that connects the heel bone to your toes. Heel pain caused by plantar fasciitis is very common. It often affects people who run, jump, or stand for long periods of time. Most people who get this type of heel pain get better within a year, even if they don't get treated. What are the symptoms of plantar fasciitis? The most common symptom is pain under the heel and sole, the bottom part of your foot. It commonly causes a stabbing pain that usually occurs when you first steps in the morning. As you get up and move more, the pain normally decreases, but it might return after long periods of standing or after rising from sitting for a prolonged period of time. What causes plantar fasciitis? Well, under normal circumstances, your plantar fascia acts like a shock absorbing bowstring, supporting the arch of your foot. If tension and stress on that bowstring become too great, small tears can arise in the fascia. Repetitive stretching and tearing can cause the fascia to become irritated or inflamed. Though in many cases of plantar fasciitis, the cause isn't clear. What are the risk factors for the development of plantar fasciitis? Though plantar fasciitis can arise without an obvious cause, Factors that can increase your risk of developing plantar fasciitis include the following. Age. Plantar fasciitis is most common between the ages of 40 and 60 years of age. Certain types of exercise. Activities that place a lot of stress on your heel and the attached tissue, such as long distance running, ballistic jumping activities, ballet dancing, and aerobic dance can contribute to the early onset of plantar fasciitis. Foot mechanics. Being flat-footed, having a high arch, or even an abnormal pattern of walking can affect the way the weight is distributed when you're standing and put added stress on the plantar fascia. Obesity. Excess pounds put extra strength on your plantar fascia. And occupations that keep you on your feet for too long, like factory workers, teachers, and others who spend most of their working hours walking or standing on hard surfaces can damage their plantar fascia. Is there anything you can do on your own to make you feel better? Yes, yes you can. If you're overweight, try losing some weight first. Rest. Give your foot a chance to heal by resting. But don't completely stop being active. Doing that can lead to more pain and stiffness in the long run. Ice your foot. Putting ice on your heel for 20 minutes, up to four times a day, might relieve the pain. Icing and massaging your foot before exercise might also be helpful. Do special foot exercises. Certain exercises can help with heel pain. Do these exercises daily. Take pain medications. If your pain is severe, you can try taking pain medicines that you can get without a prescription. Examples include ibuprofen and naproxen. But if you have other medical conditions or you already take pain medications, ask your doctor or nurse before taking new medicines. Wear sturdy shoes. Sneakers with a lot of cushion and good arch and heel support are the best. Shoes with rigid soles can also be helpful. Adding padded or a gel heel inserts to your shoes might help as well. Wear splints at night. Some people feel better if they wear a splint while they sleep that keeps their foot straight. These splints are sold in drugstores and medical supply stores. Is there a test specific for plantar fasciitis? No, there isn't any specific test, but your doctor or nurse should be able to tell if you have it by learning about your symptoms and doing an exam. He or she might suggest an x-ray or other tests like a CAT scan MRI to check whether your symptoms may be caused by something else. Sometimes an x-ray will show a spur uh, of bone projecting towards and forward from the heel bone. In the past, 
we used to think that bone spurs were the cause of this heel pain and then we went out and took this uh, bone spurs surgically but many people who have bone spurs have no heel pain at all how is plantar fasciitis treated well the first step is to try the things we just discussed things you can do on your own but if you do not get better or your symptoms are severe your doctor or nurse can suggest a number of things first athletic tape Taping your foot in special ways helps support the foot. Special shoe inserts made to fit your foot. Then there's shots or injections that go straight into your foot with a medication called a steroid, which can help with the pain. However, multiple injections aren't recommended because they can weaken the plantar fascia and possibly cause it to rupture. More recently, platelet-rich plasma has been used this is done under ultrasound guidance to provide pain relief with less risk of rupture than injection of steroids. And there's extracorporeal shock wave therapy. In this procedure, sound waves are directed at the area of the heel pain to stimulate the healing. It's usually used on chronic plantar fasciitis that hasn't responded to more conservative forms of treatment. This procedure might cause bruising, swelling, pain, numbness, even tingling. And some studies show promising results, but it hasn't been shown to be consistently effective. Then there's the 10x procedure. This minimally invasive procedure removes the scar tissue of plantar fasciitis without doing surgery. This procedure allows you to get back on your feet and regular routine in so little as 10 days. Putting a splint over your foot and ankle in a way that stretches your calf and arch while you sleep this holds the plantar fascia and Achilles tendon in a lengthened position overnight and facilitates stretching. And then of course there's surgery. This is only an option in some cases that do not get better with any other measures. Is there anything you can do to keep from getting the heel pain again and again? Yes, to reduce the chances that your pain will come back, wear shoes that fit well, have a lot of cushion and support the heel and ankle. Avoid wearing slippers, flip-flops, slip-ons, or poorly fitted shoes. Avoid going barefoot and do not wear worn out shoes. This is the end of the video. Again, my name is Dr. Carlo Jed. I'm an emergency physician and I post videos like this one on patienteducation.video related to diagnosis, treatment, follow-up, warning signs. So if you're looking for that kind of true medical education content, please visit patienteducation.video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you don't miss any new episodes.